In this video, we're going to go over some very specific elbow extension techniques for people reco recovering from elbow surgery. We also had elbow surgery. So, you know, you're looking at terminal elbow extension. So a lot of times throwers won't have all of their terminal elbow extension. So I'll put them in prone and I'll somewhat externally rotate the shoulder and then I'll take them into supination and I'll see what kind of terminal extension they have. And you can see he's got hypermobility on his left side. So when you go over to the right side, you can see just in this position, I'll have him hold the table right here. He does not have as much extension on this side. So I, you know, I'll take the shoulder and now from here, he's definitely blocked. So he's been experiencing a little bit dis a little bit of proximal discomfort. So oftentimes I'll distract, I'll have someone else hold the shoulder and then I'll do elevation mobs. So I'll somewhat hold the elbow here. I'll have him push up into my hand. So push up towards the sky with your elbow and relax. I want you to try and pronate your wrist. So pronate your wrist for me as hard as you can. And now relax. Now try and extend your elbow while I add distraction force. Now I'll add a little bit of a proximal glide to try and get more distraction. So I'll sometimes belt the elbow down and do extension while I lift the elbow. So a lot of times they'll get, pro, you know, they'll get pain from the olecranon and I'll pull that distally. So I'll get right on there and pull that distally and then now do the same thing, push up to the sky. Sometimes you need to have more than one person when you're doing your mobilization. So. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to it. Hit on the bell. Um, push the elbow into the table again, Max. So then I'll always follow up with some terminal extension. So now you extend the elbow. So now push my hand right in the center to the floor. Push it to the floor, push it to the floor. So I'm doing an active assistive at this time. And now I'll go back and I'll assess. So go to the other side. I'll get in exactly the same position and I'll see what kind of force it takes for me to extend his elbow. So now from here, he's got a pretty, pretty hypermobile elbow on that side. That's why as a thrower, it's very difficult to know because a lot of times I wish I could be able to better than before. So you can see I can lift his wrist off the table. What are you feeling, Max? Feels okay? So it's very important to restore full range of motion when you're dealing with throwing athletes that are recovering from Tommy John. Oftentimes we've got athletes that have a five to eight degree elbow extension deficit, and then they don't have full flexion and their wrist isn't able to pronate or supinate all the way. So the most important thing for physical therapy is to restore as much range of motion as you can, as quickly as you can, and then create exercises that are very specific, which we're gonna show in the future, that stress the ulnar collateral ligament, but at the same time, strengthen all the surrounding musculature. So just wanted to show those terminal elbow extension um, stretches, something that all therapists need to incorporate in their program. And, you know, if you like this video, go ahead and give it the thumbs up. You know, we want to try and reach as many people as possible. So we'll be showing more videos about what type of exercises you can use in the future to really, really make an impact on Tommy John early in their rehab.